Hello, hello. Lartanian here with a should you pull for Agrius LD. I'll be discussing our upgrades and sharing my thoughts on their value, and I'll do it all in less than 4 minutes because that's how long this royalty free music lasts. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Both are little things that go a long way to supporting the channel. And leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Agrius. I'd like to hear from you. You can also catch me alongside Raw Life and Type Zoe on the live stream, our weekly Defo stream, every Monday night at 8:30 p.m. Eastern, featuring discussion, gameplay, and more than a few good laughs. I'll leave a link in the description below. Look forward to seeing you there. So Agrius is coming to us with an LD accompanied by a small rework. Knight's Pride is becoming a double dump with improvements to its self battery, overflow, and party heal. Judgment Blade is gaining self battery and now deals full AOE damage instead of split, so that's really going to help her damage output. The Paralyzed Chance has also been boosted to 25%, which is still less than a coin flip, but at least it's better than a dice roll. And yes, I wish I had thought of that analogy during my Setzer video. Agrius' new LD is a big AoE attack that refills a use of each of her skills and gives her a new overhead called Faith in the Princess. This effect grants the party attack, brave damage up, brave gain up, and overflow. It also unlocks an improved HP attack that you'll probably never use. More importantly, it turns her brave attack into a one-time use hit that inflicts a debuff called Faded Moly on the enemy. Faded Moly is a one-turn confuse that also increases brave and HP damage the target takes. While Agrius only has three uses of her LD, she starts the fight with six turns of faith in the princess and her special brave attack ready to go. So what do we make of these changes? New LDs fall into two categories. Some add completely new roles or functionality, such as Cloud gaining delays, Cryle becoming an enchanter, or Ash becoming broken. Others make the character better at what they do, such as Sarah bolstering her auras, or Galif becoming a more well-rounded countertank. Agrius falls firmly into the latter category, with her LD improving upon her existing party aura and boss disruption uh, roles. She's well-rounded with a little bit of everything. Her auras are decent, and she brings both burst and regen heals, and you can't underestimate the usefulness of at least six guaranteed AoE paralyze effects, not counting random ones you get from spamming Judgment Blade or her EX silence. Her personal damage isn't amazing, even with a spammable full AoE attack. Keep in mind we're expecting our damage dealers to contribute four to five hundred thousand damage per turn now, so while she'll outdamage many supports, you're going to need other units to really bring the pain. Aside from that, her biggest downside is timing. And no, I don't mean the timing of her release, she's showing up right when she should. I mean that you need to learn to time her skills for maximum effect. Tying her HP damage up to her Faded Moly debuff means it won't be up the whole fight, so it'll be better suited relying on other units to boost the party's damage. Unlike other like lockdown characters like Kefka or Eldnarsh, Agrius is limited guaranteed paralyzes. They have to be used to... Just a second, let me... Hold on, let me... Uh, there we go, let me get my sunglasses on. There we go. They must be used tactically. Yeah. The last thing I want to touch on with Agrius is her new role in the future. She's highly anticipated for Lufania Plus, being one of the few units with Brave Gain Up boost for the party, and that's going to be useful for counter reductions we're going to be seeing. This can be stacked with similar characters like Porum Reach Total PT Plus to batter your way through fights. She's also useful in two fights in the future, namely Kate Sit's Mission Dungeon and Shulk's Character Event. So while I don't suggest pulling a character for a specific future fight, since just about every fight has more than one answer, pulling a character for a specific fight who is also useful in the general sense, that's a solid deal. Uh, that being said, you should skip Agrius because she will inevitably rerun when they add Orlando to the game in 2024. Speaking of timing, I timed this just right. The shit. <laughs>